Hi, I'm Jeff Sikinga, Executive Director of the Ashbrook Center. You know, Christmas time has always been a great time for stories, inspirational stories full of hope and promise. I'd like to share one such story with you from the great American historian, David McCullough. It was 1865 and Phillips Brooks, an Episcopalian minister from Philadelphia, had traveled to the Holy Land. While there, high above the River Jordan, Reverend Brooks was told by local townspeople of a nearby hill where, according to tradition, the angels descended and announced to the shepherds the arrival of the Christ child. From the hill, Brooks looked down on the small village of Bethlehem. After returning to America, he decided to put pen to paper to convey just how it felt that day to look down on that little town. The result became one of America's most beloved Christmas carols, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Years later, the carol would sustain two peoples brought together during the darkest of times. In December 1941, after the attack on Pearl Harbor, America was a nation plunged into war. President Franklin Roosevelt said that it was a day that will live in infamy. In the days following, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, at great personal risk, traversed the Atlantic Ocean to be a guest of FDR at the White House. And on Christmas Eve 1941, the two leaders stood on the balcony of the White House and addressed a gathered crowd. At a time of great darkness for America and Britain, Churchill declared in his speech, Here then, for one night, each home throughout the English-speaking world shall be a brightly lit island of peace and happiness. Early the next morning, Roosevelt and Churchill attended a nearby Christmas church service. Among the many carols sung that morning just happened to be O Little Town of Bethlehem. Churchill had never heard the carol before, but the words of the third stanza struck him. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. For Churchill, each home and each hearth in America had become a shining light in the darkness. But why were they shining lights? You see, Churchill understood that the light of freedom shines when free people work and prosper. It shines when individuals, families, and communities freely govern themselves. And it shines when freedom-loving nations stand up to defend themselves against aggression. Churchill knew the light of freedom still shined. It drew strength from America's history and founding principles everlasting principles that have sustained this good and free country from its beginning. You know, 2020 has been another dark time and the new year will undoubtedly bring new challenges. Some people will say that to meet these challenges, America should turn its back on our history and give up on our principles. At Ashbrook, we won't yield to that darkness. We will keep America's light shining by educating students, teachers, and citizens in the history and founding principles of our nation. In this season of divine hope, all of us here at Ashbrook want to take a moment to thank you for sustaining us in that mission. And in this season of divine light, all of us here at Ashbrook want to take a moment to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.